So, power supply is in. And uh, here it is right here. It has this nice little bracket that uh, holds it in here. I had to both, I had to screw it into this bracket and then screw it into the case here. Uh, and uh, look at this nice bit of wires here. So, <laughs> um, okay, so here's all my connections for all of this. I've got all my other wires here too, which I still got to plug in. And uh, first thing I'm looking at here is here's the main power. So I do have uh, some nice holes down in here where I can run things through, and maybe even I can run it on the back side and pop it up out here. But I'm gonna have to stand the case up and everything to figure that part out. I'm not sure that it'll actually be able to go that far. Oh man, I have to say I'm loving a case this big. Look at this. I actually got it to come through here and uh, and go in there. So pulled it back here from the power supply. So I'll just run it right back up through here, up into there. And uh, now this is the only wires from it that I have up in here. The airflow on this is going to be great. I'm really happy with this case. Really happy. I know this case was extremely expensive, but uh, and I've been getting questions on why did I spend so much on a case. Well, let me tell you this. The ATX design came after AT, and that was probably 15 years ago that they switched over to the ATX design. This is ATX, and so do I think that maybe it'll be around a while longer? Yes. And so, you know, as long as motherboards can keep fitting in this, then I can just keep upgrading this machine instead of, uh, you know, doing something completely new each time. And uh, so that's, that's one of the reasons why I went so far on this machine. Now there will be some changes that will be in the future with connections and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure that there will be like USB 4.0 and stuff like that. Well, that's okay. So, you know, one is, you know, the connections in the back and the motherboard here. So those are connections. And then I've got, I've got all these slots in here where I can put in other external connections. I've even got one up here where I can hook up cabling. And then in the front, there is so many more connections that I have. You know, I have, you know, three other bays for stuff. I have this up here, but, uh, and, you know, it may become obsolete over the years, at least part of it. The cooling should still be uh, okay, but the connections might be, but that's okay because uh, I certainly have plenty of room to grow, plenty of room to, uh, you know, to upgrade in the future to whatever kind of connections come out. So I'm going over here on uh, looking at my hard drive situation, looking at how I have all these drives and I don't have enough cables. I'm going to have to order some more cables. But, you know, while I'm, uh, while I'm doing that, I'm investigating, okay, I see some other, uh, some other SATA three cables in here. Here's one of them. And so I'm looking at this, I follow it up, it goes up in here, and actually I follow these up here, and I'm like, okay, what are these things here? So I'm looking, and I gotta love, gotta love this case. I love how that just uh, goes down on its own. So I'm looking at this here, and okay, so here's the, here's the two bays and stuff, and I pull this open, and I'm like, what is this? You know, I look inside here and everything, and I'm like, where's the drive bracket? Where is it? So, pull this off here, which is kind of cool that they just pull off like that. And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, I look in the manual, and it shows putting just a bare hard drive in here. Okay, well, let's try it. So, here I have an old hard drive. And uh, it's the right configuration. It's got the SATA connections and everything. Um, this is a, uh, I don't know, I think this is a two terabyte drive. And it comes out of my old home server machine. It's, a, it's one that died. And look at this. It shows you just put it in here like this. I mean, this is so cool. So I put it in and it's hard to do with one hand here. There we go. The bloody drive is in there. Look at that. It's all plugged in, ready to go, ready to ready to rock and roll. It's a whole hot swap for bare drives. How cool is that? I love it. I think that might be one of the coolest features I've seen in this thing so far. So, 
Anyway, anytime I got extra drives now, I can just pop them in there. Where I was um, looking at some of the comments on an earlier video where people were talking about, okay, so I don't have a, um, you know, I have all this redundancy for RAID for this hardware redundancy, but I don't have anything in, you know, for like backups and stuff. Well, I can be backing up some portions to drives like this and put them off into storage. And so um, I think that's really cool. It's just so easy to pop drives in and out. I have a, uh, a mobile drive dock and everything to, to be able to uh, move drives in and out like that uh, on the fly. But uh, now, looks like I got it included with the case. So awesome.